So Virgos, something very interesting happened here. And I feel that I need to talk to you about this. Do you feel me, sister? So I was sitting up here feeling sorry for myself. Not something that I do on a regular basis. But you know, I'm human and I have those days. And I said to God, God, what should I do? What should I do? He said, do a video for the Virgos. I said, I ain't doing that shit. I want to sit up here and think about me. I see me, 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 me. He said, that's your problem. Oh. So Virgos, I decided to come in here and talk to you because I like talking to smart motherfuckers. Oh God, to have a conversation with you and to have the intelligence <laughs> oh my god Marsha matters I love you I love the way we can argue in such a profoundly delicate sweet way and yes 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 and it's not argue we just have different points of views and the Virgo's different points of views are just so magnificent. I was talking to a Virgo and I was like, oh my God, why have I not been dating Virgos? Also, I had an international, um, an international reading. Baby, I'm not gonna call you internationally, honey. Yeah, so I sent you an email, boo, okay? And I'm gonna give you my Google number and that's how we gonna get down with it. And those of you who order readings for me, they'll come. They come in God's time. <laughs> no, no, it, it's gonna be late, but no more than 72 hours, okay? Because that's just how I operate. Virgos, you guys would not be happy with that, would you? Anyway, baby girl said she's mad at God because she's been praying for a new job and and one has not come and i said i'm going to talk to the virgos about that so i said well baby how many jobs have you been applying for well i've just been looking So you're mad at God because you want him. Okay, so you know what, you guys, when we pray about something, we have our part to do too. Like if I'm praying to get a new job, come on now, come on. What do I have to do? I have to not only look for a new job, but do what? apply. See, Virgos, one thing that you guys have that a lot of people don't have is common sense. Now, I know that I didn't need to tell um, you that. I know I didn't need to tell you that, okay? And the person who asked me that was not a Virgo, but I don't want to hurt their feelings, okay? Because I know they are a really strong viewer. So... In the Pentecostal movement, I kind of think that I was taught, from my family at least, that God does things without me doing my part, but I feel like God really goes gangsta when I start to do my part. Like if I'm asking God to remove me from a married man, you know, then I have to do my part. Maybe my part is to get into therapy Maybe my part is to, like, I know this one woman who says, well, God, I've asked God to take this married man away and he won't. And she works with him. Okay. So, right. So she works with him. So she's not trying to get a new job. That's, that's her. Right. 
Also, um, he don't really fuck with her until she calls. So, you know, she hasn't, she got a good job. She's not in therapy, right? But she's mad at God. Um, she has not blocked his number, blocked his social media. I've told her about the different programs that she could go to to help herself, you know, with codependency issues, maybe sex issues, drug issues. She has not gone, but it's God's fault. No, see, we, we are in a partnership with God. When I pray and I say, God, bring me a husband or God, bring me my life partner, then I have to do my part. Am I on drugs? Am I an alcoholic? Because don't nobody want no, no druggy or no alcoholic. Do I have a temper? Do I need to go to anger management course? What do I need to do in order to be in partnership with God and him bringing me my life partner? For instance, if I'm codependent, am I going to my codependency meetings? Am I doing everything that I can do in order to be a co-creator with the universe? But at first, I was kind of like angry at her being angry with God. But I realized she could have been taught. <clears throat> excuse me, you guys. She could have been taught the same things that I was taught. That God does everything and I don't do anything. You know, I remember... Um, having a really painful relationship with, um, a, a, you know, with, with someone. And their response was, oh, I prayed about it. Oh, I just, oh, I just gave it to God. And they weren't doing anything else. Almost like they, that God was just going to come in and just make every, you know what I'm saying? It's like, well, yeah, I, I, I really couldn't see God through their actions so I didn't really get that you know but I would have to say this I did pray for help to be out of that 10-year relationship that honestly you guys I just didn't have the power to get out of I did do my part though but I prayed and God began to separate us very gradually because he knew what my issues were and he knew what Jeff's issues were so we said se he separated us you know what the first separation looked like we uh, separated our clothes in the closet that was when I knew we were first starting to separate there were two closets in the bedroom and I took my clothes from that side and I put them in another closet and um and it was like, see, now you have more space. But I knew that I was sort of starting to separate. And it's been, and it was gradual, very gradual, because we were really connected. That, those were some deep roots. So sometimes you do have to kind of just give it to God and take baby steps, you know? But don't lie to yourself. Don't take steps that you know you're not really ready to take. So when I had asked God, you know, what to do a few minutes ago, he said, do the Virgo readings. So let's do that, huh? Virgos, my Virgos. Today is Sunday, huh? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I just pray for Virgos. I pray for their prosperity. I pray that they get a relationship with you that shows them that they're not under some type of rulership, but that, you know, you guys can have a relationship that works for the both of you. I pray for their health and wealth. I pray for your job situation. Everybody gets a new job. You get a new job. You get a new job. You get a new job. <laughs> a good paying job. High paying job. You get a high paying job. You get a high paying job. You get a high paying job. Ooh, this feels hot. What do we have here? 
We have the Nine of Swords. Good. That's a great card. You know why that card is so amazing? It's so amazing to love yourself. Because the Nine of Swords says, now that you're going up to this next level where you're going to have this great paying job or you'll just get promoted in your business, you have to have the thoughts that match this new level. So Virgos, Virgos, you know, there's six positive signs and there's six negative signs. And Virgo is Virgo, the water and the earth are the negatives and the fire and the um air are the positives that's why you really need to intermingle too like the the more friends you have from different walks of life i know you guys want to help everybody but you need some positive vibes coming in from positive friends so get you some air sign friends that you feel are positive this month fire sign friends who you feel are positive this month but you need to intermingle okay you definitely need to have positive like I can feel it, I can just feel it. I can feel, you need some more positive vibes from people in your life. The Nine of Swords just simply tells me you have a habit of thinking where you have not written any type of current goals with how you wanna think. People have goals for their finances, people have goals for their relationships, but they don't have any goals for their mental health. Like, I mean, as far as thoughts are concerned, now I'm triple air. Of course, I'm thinking like this. Oh, isn't this fabulous? Yeah, Virgos, you guys are ruled by Mercury and you're very analytical. And so with such an analytical mind, you need to have some goals regarding how you choose to analyze things within the next three months. If you're going to analyze things or give negative, outdated old out mode out things a way of thinking that no longer fits with 2018 you need to update your thinking you know how you upgrade your bins <laughs> okay i'm just kidding you know how you upgrade your phone you know you may go to it from an android to an iphone you know how you upgrade your iphone okay because i saw my boo with the highest iphone there is it's like what well, on baby hey, hey. right so you upgrade your well sometimes you have to up you know you upgrade your jobs like all of you get new jobs that want it that apply for new ones within 30 days let's make this happen let's make this happen so let's see how god moves when we move when i move you move just like that. When he moves, you move. Just like that. And he's moving. Monday morning. So we need to have some thoughts that match the suburbs. <laughs> and not thoughts that match the gutter. Where the pigeons be quackity whacking in the gutter. With the winos. Honey, do you know egos? Did you see that ego and MSN that went straight for that fox from the sky? We want to see things that are of above. Things that are up above. I'm going to tell you this story and we're going to go into the reading. Do you know, I think I've said this, I don't know which sign I told this story too, but do you know that the wingspan of an ego is about six feet across? Absolutely majestic. So I'm five foot two. So if an ego, you know, had spread their wings perpendicularly or vertically, yeah, they would be taller than me, the wings are. They have, their wingspan is so majestic that they can fly, they can go through the storm and they can fly above the storm. So while we're down here in a hurricane, they can go above it in the sky, fly above it, just like airplanes. How airplanes can fly above the clouds, so can eagles. Because their wingspan is so majestic, majestic and powerful, they can fly miles and miles and miles at a time. Unlike the other little birds who have to flap, if they went up that high, they couldn't take it. They would just go, woo, 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 right? Well, guess what? <clears throat> the vulture also has the type of wingspan as an ego. 
But see, the problem with the vulture is that it feeds on dead things. Right? Right. The vulture and the ego, their wingspan goes neck to neck. So the vulture stays down here in the cold, feeding on dead, rotten flesh, dead, rotten thoughts that get you nowhere. Whereas the ego is like, you know what? This too shall pass. All is well with me. I'm going to start thinking just a little bit more positive within the next 90 days and fly above these storms like the ego does. So that is what the first message is, okay, that in the month of June, you are going to be challenged to bring your best self out by choosing, choosing to love yourself enough to uproot these old, negative, outdated, outmoded ways of interpreting incoming data, okay? Oh, my phones are not working. Oh, that means that God is against me. Oh, I've been applying for 30 jobs and I didn't get any. Oh, that means that I'm worthless. No, no, what that means is the time is not right. Boy, do I love my dedication though. I'm swinging, I'm swinging, I'm swinging. I'm gonna get back up and I'm gonna swing it again, but you know what I need? I need some positive feedback right now. I just need somebody to juice me. God, bring me somebody. He'll bring me me. You might have me. He said, I ain't got nobody. You got me, you got sunshine. Look, it's shining in the back. <laughs> All right, Virgos. Yes, 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 you guys are going to get clarity of thought. Where there used to be muddled thinking, painful, pessimistic thinking, harsh thinking about incoming reality, because it's not what's happening, it's what I'm saying to myself about what's happening, okay? It's not what's happening, it's what I'm saying, all right? So let's say, um, <laughs> let's say you're in a situation that you really don't like. Maybe it's taking longer than you want, like purchasing a home. <laughs> okay, no. Let's do something with love. Something is not working out the way, or maybe it's taking longer than you want. Good. Because in the absence of this situation not being here, I can really focus on my goals. I can focus on the things that I know that I really need to get taken care of. Because I know that all things work together for the good for me because I create my own reality. And in the reality that I create, I speak that all my relationships are beautiful. All my relationships are warm and loving. All my relationships are, I like touchy-feely people, are filled with touchy-feely others. You can create whatever you want to create. And I see you coming into a place of mastery with that. Some of you are really, see, that's so wonderful. See, it's a good thing in the suit of the air to move from nine to one. You move from crazy thinking to very clear, prosperous thinking. Conquest in your own mind. This has nothing to do with anybody else. This is what will make you an, an amazing partner. Because see, people don't wanna be around um, negative thinking when they're already negative, but you guys are pretty good in lifting people up. I'm loving your reading. Strength. Wow. Amazing. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra. Gemini. Whew. <clears throat> Aquarian. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo as well. Okay. So you're needing... And you're getting strength. You have the strength. You're going to be getting the support that you need, the love that you need. The, you're going to tap into the resources that you need to tap into in order to come out with victory and truth and clarity about something that you're going through that triggers old ways of thinking. So you're going through something that is going to really challenge you to grow and be the best you that you can be and show mastery in your own life and in your relationships that makes you a, an amazing partner, an amazing friend, and um, an amazing person, especially to yourself. So some of you 
could be having some thoughts, some old thoughts about maybe boundaries that you need to have with someone. Maybe these boundaries that you need to have are with someone that you really care about, okay? And it requires strength in order for you to maintain these boundaries. But I see you maintaining these boundaries because what's behind you is staying in situations that no longer fulfill you or what's behind you is yeah having to move love yourself enough to move to emotional fulfillment for you so that you can play your part in society and being a a good a good person a good worker a good human being you're not going to be the, your best self with outdated ways of thinking that you know don't match today's world you're not going to be that helpful to people, you're not going to be able to be of service and be the purest energy that you can be with these outdated thoughts about things. So you really elevate. I mean, this whole month is about you thinking about things differently. Think just really challenging yourself to let me look at this. I'm not saying, see, when you think about something different, your whole mood changes. That's why Maya Angelou says, before you do anything, change how you see it. Do everything you can to change your perspective because when I trained to be a life coach in Marin County, there was a thousand dollar class that we had to take called Perspective Virgos. We had to learn how to teach our clients how to take another view on what they're going through because that view is going to put a vibration in the universe. And you want to put the vibration of what you want. You guys may be used to thinking the pes being pessimistic, thinking the worst, thinking this means that, I miss, I'm worried, is somebody going to leave? You have to get down to the truth of a situation. What is the truth? Maybe the truth is that you know that you are very lovable and maybe this boundary had to happen. But whatever the foundation is, the foundation between the two of you or whatever it is, is very strong. Okay? And you guys are have a rooting system with each other that feels unshakable, especially in the friendship realm. So you leave behind something that you had to leave behind. Okay? You have your feelings about that. But remember, feelings come from thoughts. And I get to choose my thoughts. That's why meditation is really going to be very helpful for you this month, Virgos. Just deep breathing five times will help you see a situation differently. So what I just got from that deep breathing is it hurts, but I don't have to act like a child because I feel pain. In fact, sometimes in situations where things are not that easy, you appreciate it later, deeper. You appreciate it a little bit more. I had to work to get to this place. I appreciated it. You know, I appreciate it more. Okay, and that's exactly what just came. And now I'm on another page. So, five times. I walk it like I talk it. Walk it like I talk it. So, I love this. I love this because there is a flurry of activity that's getting ready to come. No doubt the new job, Virgos. Yes, yes, yes. Or cross watchers. Oh, why am I sitting in this chair? Huh. 
So this is the Eight of Wands. There's going to be some traveling, travel plans. Somebody wants to travel to see you. But this is not a want card. This is action. I love the wands and the pentacles. I like the Knight of Cups, too, because to me, the Knight of Cups represents an invitation, um, some type of action. So there's going to be a flurry of activity. The Eight of Wands talks about events moving at a fast pace and delays over. Many things are going to be happening in the month of June. Lots of work, maybe lots of travel, too. I know that... Um, my aunt and I are, oh no, that's in July, huh? Yeah, okay, this could go into July. But yes, lots of activities, lots of communication. Let's clarify that. Well, let's continue with the reading and then I'll clarify it. So as a result of you seeing the truth about a situation and seeing how boundaries were necessary, okay, you needed to overcome your lower energies and the lower energy could have been thinking like, you might have learned to pick up thinking from your grandmother. Like, oh, like I remember one time I was trying to go for a walk. Nana said, what if somebody snatches you and puts you in the car? What? <laughs> That's how she thought. So some of us, we think like other people think, and this month you're gonna learn how to start thinking how you think, and it's gonna propel a lot of new things in your life. A lot of positive things are going to be happening. But some of you are going to be traveling this month. Somebody may be traveling to you. You come in as just doing very high quality work. And that's good because, see, we know that you're great workers, Virgo. We know that you're great organizers. If it wasn't for um, uh, the Virgo placement and another tarot reader, I would not have my website with those video things as organized as they are. When I saw her website, I just broke down in tears because I had used to, it's Virgos that save us in our work area because I used to read the emails, you guys, and I would get so overwhelmed as an air sign with reading emails, writing people back, not knowing who wants a reading. And I went to a Virgo, or a person who has Virgo placements, and I saw her website, it was just so concise. I called somebody, I said, do that. Do exactly what the Virgo does. So you guys are coming in as always with high quality work, helping a whole bunch of people, you know, eight times over. Also, you guys are going, skilled work is going to be rewarded. You're gonna be learning all there is to know about your craft, or maybe you're going back to school some of you are going to be focusing on improving your craft, going back to school. Some of you are going to get that job that was predicted. <laughs> you get a job. You get a job. Your mama get a job. And your kids are always going to be working. They're going to have so much good fortune from the time they're a little rooter and a tutor. <laughs> we bless your kids. We bless your kids. We bless your kids in the name, in the name that's above all names. So the Eight of Coins talks about you guys um, having a lot of quick activity with your work, but it kind of looks like a lot of you are going to be work focused and you're going to have to really work on getting enough sleep, maybe getting enough exercise. Don't just be all about work this month, okay? Outside in is the Page of Swords. Let's pull the rest. Someone is going to be spying on you in June for Virgos. The chariot, a trip, moving. Where are you guys moving to? Maya, I'm a Virgo and Vidic, moving on, moving on. Let's see who or what. With the chariot for me, I always need to see where the chariot is going to know Let's see, forward movement, victory, victory in a lot of areas, victory with the cancer. Let's see, Virgo. Victory with moving forward, moving away. Virgos. Let's 
Virgos, where are you moving towards? Oh, okay, you're moving to a piece of my own. That's a trip. Uh, huh, where are you going? Where are you going? Three of Cups. Okay, is this romantic in nature? All right. So your final card is the Chariot, which is victory. But um, it also represents self-discipline and willpower. Talks about getting a new car, new vehicles this month, public recognition on a very big way. Like so, yeah, the chariot, the eight of wands is definitely a trip. Some of you guys could be like going out on the town and it's really going to be monumental this month. Like I'm going to the Black Circus and then we're going to the Eston Festival. You could be actually taking a trip to meet someone, to talk to someone. This is going to be some type of an appointment, uh, appointment, important, uh, important achievement this month. So there's going to be, it looks like you guys are taking a trip with the Six of Swords on a boat. And it looks like you're going to be having a good time. So you're going to be living this month. Some of you are going to be taking a trip, getting a car, moving, relocating. There's going to be some hot activity that maybe starts between you and an uh, air sign or a fire sign. But it looks like a lot of you might be moving on. And if you're not moving on, I think you're just kind of being patient about a situation here. But let's see, let's see what the romance angels have to say. But anyway, what I see here is as you begin to take authority over how you think, a lot of great things are going to be taking place in your life. They've been there all alone, but your thinking could have gotten in the way of these things. Somebody, let me finish your reading, is going to be spying on you. And let me just get these cards. See what we're talking about here and how long have we been 33 minutes okay so Virgo somebody is going to be spying on you because you're going to be making a lot of changes inside of your life and if you did leave somebody behind it looks like you're going to um, allow that to be gone and really move into your own life you're gonna you might take a trip you're going to be, get promoted on your job, okay? I see that uh, there's someone that you care about, but you just don't want to go in that direction anymore. Less, uh, it looks like you're moving aggressively away from a situation that no longer serves you or that the timing is off. But let's just look at the Eight of Fire. Oops, upside down. Uh, well, huh. Okay, let's see what we got here. Yeah, if you felt left out in the cold um, from a fire sign, it looks like you're going to own that energy and just begin to divert your energy elsewhere. Okay, a uh, Leo. Um, Virgo, Capricorn, yeah, it looks like you're going to be relocating or taking a trip. Okay, so there's two groups here. There's three groups, actually. Let me just see this. Virgos. Virgos. Okay. Okay. Okay, so hmm. Let me just get some more clarity here. Oh. Okay. So some of you are actually some of you are going to take a trip with someone that you've had a long-term relationship with. You guys might go uh, across the seas 
with each other. Somebody really wants to move. Somebody might be moving. Also, um, somebody, okay, you're letting go of one relationship, but I see you are going to quickly build a new relationship, maybe with an earth sign, could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or um, a Virgo. No, you, you're, look, you're moving away from a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And I see you, see there's a lot of people here. Let me just clarify this. I'm so sorry, because sometimes the cards, they do go to the left. I wanna finish this first reading that I had for you guys though. Honestly, what my gut intuition said is that you're moving away from someone and you mean business. And it looks like you, you're gonna make a very clear decision to do that. You're gonna get back into your life. Things are gonna really take off for you and it's gonna be difficult, but I see that um, you're gonna be very happy in the month of June. I do see some struggles here that you will overcome every last one of them. If, whether it was job, technical, whatever, you're going to overcome all of the struggles here. But the main thing is having fun with somebody that you might be taking a trip with. You might be planning a trip. Also, I see a new car here. I see somebody moving. Somebody's going to move, like somebody moves across the country. Maybe a cancer. And you're just going to be st stunned. Somebody moves across the country. Somebody takes a trip. Somebody meets somebody for the first time. So if you've been dating online or if there's somebody that um, you've been wanting to connect with, it looks like they're gonna be coming to you on a plane. Somebody is taking a plane to come to where you are. Are you going to a, on a plane to go to some, where someone else is? Somebody feels like they do not wanna talk to you. They wanna see you, okay? Somebody is feeling somebody and they're like, look, I want to send for you and I want to see you. And somebody becomes, I think that what happens, Virgo, is if somebody was unclear about what they wanted from you, they get clear. So there could be one party that you're walking away from and another party that you're walking towards. Okay, so you're letting something go that needed to be let go of. It could be for mental health reasons. You had to leave because of some mental health because we have the health card, which is strength with letting something go. And that's at the foundation with the kind of crazy card, you know, the nine of swords. So there could have been mental health reasons why you had to let someone go. We know how you guys love your patients. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. And as a result of cutting that out and seeing the truth of a situation, you speedily move on in your life. You start getting yourself together. You get a promotion. Somebody is spying on you, trying to figure out what you're doing. Um, you just don't want any heartaches because you don't want anything to interfere with what you're trying to do. Right. And then out of nowhere, somebody, um, for some of you, maybe this person who you had wanted or, whatever somebody is going to come out to see you or you're going to take a trip someplace maybe just to get your mind off of things some of you are going to rent a car and take trips rent a car and go party like you're going to be doing some things in the summer that are going to be really fun for you okay and uh let's just qualify the eight of wands yeah, so you're going to be cutting something loose, moving into other directions in your life. Um, you feel left out in the cold, so you're going to deal with that by working. There's a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius that is spying on you. Um, you want something to move forward in one area, and then you don't want things to move forward anymore uh, with the Cancer. And some of you are moving away from one relationship and moving towards another. Some of you are moving away from a Cancer and moving towards a Leo. Or some of you are moving from a Leo and moving towards a Cancer. Or a Leo is going to be moving in your direction or Cancer is going to be moving in your direction. I know there's so many of you that I'm reading for is, you know, I'm trying to include everybody, y'all. You guys are nice. You don't hog the energy like some signs do <laughs> all right virgos let's get your romance angels let's 
see what's going on with you. Worth waiting for. Wow. Huh. Unrequited love. Okay. Trust. Interesting. All right. Let's see. So some of you need to know that divine timing is at work in your love life. And then those of you who are seeing someone else, you might not have enough attraction or chemistry to keep a particular situation going on. But the will of fortune is going to change. It's going to change for you with love. So very the first card we have is worth waiting for. Worth waiting for is um, also with this card that makes me feel like someone is looking out in the distance waiting for the sun to set or to come. And this person that you guys feel is very difficult or is a situation, it looks like you know, it's worth waiting for. This goes back to the Nine of Swords, where you're looking at a situation from a very negative perspective. May ah, I see. Okay, everything makes sense now. Okay, so you're looking at something from a very negative perspective, like oh, you know, this is taking too long. It's making me have these miserable nights. But the cards are saying it's worth waiting for, and that maybe you need to look at it from a more mature perspective, and then that will give you the strength necessary to have this fulfilling situation come to you, okay? The next card we have is Unrequited Love, okay, with the Death card. So it looks like for others of you, there might be more than one person involved and you might have walked away from a situation where your needs were not quite getting met and I think that if you really, really thought about it, maybe there wasn't maybe really enough chemistry to keep that relationship going anyway. And so it was probably best to, you know, to metamorphosize that relationship into something that just kind of feels more friendly. Okay. And then the last card, I believe, is coming back to the divine timing card and what the card is saying here is the situation that you're calling this this situation is calling for you to have faith and let's read that okay i used to like when um baby girl read the oracles at the end of her broadcast she doesn't do it anymore i really like those oracles readings i did but trust trust in response to your question the romance angels ask you to trust that everything is exactly as it needs to be do not add fear to the situation which will only create drama and negativity instead the angels ask you to release your worries to them your present situation is here to bring you blessings and personal growth, leading to the beautiful romantic love. Wow. <laughs> oh, leading you to the beautiful romantic love you so deeply desire and deserve. Oh, as you follow the pathway you're currently on, trust that it's leading you in the right direction. Your faith uplifts your energy, which in turn attracts positive experiences and people, including your romantic partner. This truly is a situation where f with faith, all things are possible. Wow, what a way to end your reading, Virgo. With faith, all things are possible. Okay, if you want a career reading, I'm doing career readings for the month of June. Go ahead and go to sunshinetarot.net. Also, if you're still here at the end, my faithful few, my faithful few, those faithful few of you who are here at the end, um, if you want to get the um, 
there's a subscription for $49.99 and you can get all access to the weekly videos and um, the dark love videos and if you want to change it next month you can now for those of you who stay to the end the week the video that's coming up is going to be I'm going to take this card right here the trust card and worth waiting for and I'm going to do a weekly reading on that and that's the weekly video and that is it love you guys love you so much God bless